So in this video, I'll beat two levels. This one only 15 people could beat out of a collective 400,000 attempts, and this one zero people had beaten. So this level starts out by putting the goalpost right in front of you, but you have to get past the spikes, which is hard. The 15 people who beat this level made it easier by pause buffering their input so they could see exactly where to move Mario, but I didn't do that. Instead, I remembered where all the spikes were and made small adjustments to my movement in real time. Some parts of this level are extremely precise, like fitting in these one block spaces that are nearly pixel perfect. I had to maintain intense focus as I used chopsticks to precisely move the analog stick and dodge the spikes. And after squeezing past these last few spikes, I can enter the pipe and reach the top of the flagpole, and I became the 16th person to beat the level, and possibly the first to beat it without pausing. And guys, if I tie the world record exactly, you have to subscribe. Anyway, this next level had zero clears on it, and I thought I'd try to be the first person to beat it. So this level makes use of the cannon box power-up, which allows Mario to shoot cannonballs to activate switches and also break blocks. I need to keep this bob on with me by knocking it into the clear pipe with my head, and it activates these blocks when it explodes. This dry bones will drop for me to jump on when I break this block, and with precise controls, I shoot cannonballs at the piranha creeper enemies to open the path for me. And I shoot this block to launch the enemy for a mid-air jump. In this part, I have to drop this blaster down to the bottom of the screen so that I can jump off it as it sinks in the lava. And here, I do tight wall jumps off the sinking blasters. I have to break this block to drop this blaster, destroy the enemy in my way, activate this switch for more blasters, and I shoot at the P-switches so I could land on the blocks. Now, I shoot cannonballs into the pipes so they make a path over the lava, and for the final trick of the level, I activate this block with a cannonball and wall jump to the flagpole. They became the first person to beat the level. So whenever I achieve something like beating hard levels, I like to celebrate by putting something up on my wall that symbolizes my achievement. And since I use chopsticks to beat these levels, and chopsticks are from China, I put the Great Wall of China on my wall. And guys, I haven't done this before, and I'll probably only ever do it rarely, but I'm uploading a YouTube short on Wednesday of this level I beat that needed 3 players to get through. So check it out when it's up, the level is insanely cool.